Building back into this session, if this is your first time here, welcome. This is a place where I share my truth. That's the only way I know how to share is through my truths of what has worked for me financially and sharing how you can take these corporate winning, winning strategies and apply them to your life as well. So let's get started with this day's session as we talk about debt elimination. I just believe there's a lot of talk right now about how to get out of debt and I just, you know, our different methods, I shall say of getting out of debt and I just truly believe it doesn't matter which method you do the snowball all of those are good the snowball effect the avalanche the debt stacking whatever method you use there's nothing wrong there's not a right or a wrong way especially if you're getting closer to the mark which is debt freedom living a debt-free life then honestly it does not matter which method you use it just matters that you are doing something you are eliminating knocking that debt out you are becoming closer to not being enslaved to interest you know often I get the question like so really is it worth it is it worth it like being debt free and I will tell you as I tell people that ask me this question 100% of the time it is worth it a debt free life has been a freeing life for me you know it's it's and often the thing that bothers me, I, I would say the worst part about it is when, you know, there's not many people on that same side or there's not many people that are trying to get on that side of debt freedom because I just believe everyone should have an opportunity to feel what it is to be debt free. You're having right now. I know people are going to school, going to college. I went to college, I went to uni, and I saw a lot of people start their lives in debt. And what really gets me when I think about colleges is that, you know, the cost of colleges are always increasing exponentially. It's it's very expensive to go to college right now. And some people, they can't even go because of the cost. And my thing is to spend that much money, but then allow students to graduate and to start their lives in debt and to not have given them any type of financial courses especially if they didn't get it at home and we know if statistics say 60 percent of the people are living paycheck to paycheck if we know debt is at an all-time high especially student loan credit card debt we know people are not getting it at home so if these things are truly happening and no one's really talking to them about it, you would you would at least think that higher education, that somehow for it doesn't matter what your major is. I don't care, it doesn't matter if you're going into pre-med, then you still need a course. Why? Because I know people that are drowning. They they are they are they are in that medical profession, but they are drowning financially. Yes, they may have a bigger income, but guess what? They do not have the financial mindset to support it. And what's happening is as everything is coming in, it's all going out. And they're trying to maintain a lifestyle that the world tells them they need to, to live. So what's truly happening right now is that you know, people are not getting it. So they're graduating from school and they're going out, starting their lives in debt. And then people are wondering, why are so many people in debt? Well, this is being taught. And what's happened is most things that are being taught are being caught. And then people are out in the world accumulating more debt. They're like, hey, I already have student loans. I might as well get the home loan. I might as well get the credit card. And then what happens is people wake up and they are drowning financially. So when someone asks like, do I regret it or do I not enjoy it? Yeah, I enjoy debt freedom. Why? Because it positions me, probably the most important part of it, where life cannot put its thumb on me. People cannot put their thumb on me. Why? Because I am totally debt free. Why? Because I own my home. I own my land. When you own things, it positions you to be in power. This is why you know, this the birth of this channel is centered around ownership. You know, I've often said this. I remember watching an old time interview with Oprah and one of the things she said that was very beautiful about being wealthy is ownership. You know, because for people that look like she and I think about it, you know, one time it was difficult to own. And now we all have, everyone has an opportunity to own. Ownership gives you power. 
So being able to own and know that no one can take that from me as long as I pay the what? The taxes, right? And the necessary bills to run my home, it is mine. It is paid off. And we live in a culture right now where people are telling people, get a home if you can afford the payment, the monthly payment. People are not, and, and the interest rate is decent. But what people don't think about is, what does that matter? Because that interest rate, yes, it matters. However, you're paying compound interest. So every single day that you wake up, you are paying interest on that home. So that that $200,000 home might cost you $400,000, $500,000. So if you're not asking the right questions at the closing table, then what that does is it honestly puts you in a, a, a bad financial situation only because you found something that was in your monthly budget. <laughs> and yes, you have to do that. But you know, the thing is you have to ask the right questions and we're not being trained people are not being trained to ask the right questions and the right questions are what what is the total cost of this loan whatever you're trying to accumulate right and when will it be paid off and if most people knew the answer to those questions i think it would stop people it would stop or at least have them think through decisions. At least when they got that home, they would say, you know what, maybe I'm going to get it. But instead of paying on it for 30 years, because you had 30 to your age, right? That means how long you're going to pay on it. And most people will say, no, I'm going to pay it off in 10 to 15 years. Now you're a little bit younger. So now you're not spending 30 years enslaved to interest. The banks, they really, they really don't care. Why? Because for 30 years, your home is gonna be an asset on their balance sheet. Here we go, this is the corporate talk. See, for 30 years, your home stays an asset to who? To them. It's not an asset to you until you've done what I've done and you've paid it off. Then it becomes an asset to what? Your balance sheet. See, my home is an asset to my balance sheet. So now that increases my net worth. And so that's the type of stuff they don't want you to talk about. See, corporations don't want to talk about this. They don't want you to even think about this. This is just really common sense financial knowledge that they do not want you to think about. Why? Because if you did, you would make different decisions. If you took that loan, like I said, you would pay it off what? Early. So you really have to think through your financial choices, but I do believe it's starting with higher education. I do believe it's starting in grade school where, you know, not teaching people. I just remember in, in school, I remember a teacher just showing us just how to balance, you know, and this wasn't part of the curriculum, but how to balance a checkbook. See, I remember in uni having a professor that said, do not spend your money, hey, uh, at McDonald's. Well, one, we know why, you know, you don't want to spend it all these fast food places. It's not good for your health. But he said the number one reason is because you can take that money and you can save it. And when I heard him say these things and he put the numbers on the board and he showed how, how much just saving a little could put you in a make you a millionaire just by not spending it investing it in food places that are bad for your health it opened my eyes he didn't know at that time i was about 16 years old going to college and to hear at age 16 and I, my counterparts and my people around me were 18 plus years old and i was so moved by that i was so moved so when people ask me in uni, they're like, why are, you, why are you spending time doing these things versus partying or whatever? And I was like, man, all I saw was financial freedom. All I saw is that I did not want to start my life in debt. All I saw is what he painted was that I, uh, he painted a picture where I didn't have to work for 40 years to only receive 40% of the pay. I could really position myself like these corporations that, that I was planning, right, to go and do their financial books as an accountant. He showed me how I can win. See, that's not happening. See, those are the rare gems. See, channels, not like my, not just my channel, but channels similar to mine, you got to understand, those are the rare gems. And people miss it. See, what I know the problem is, if most of you could pay, if you had to pay, to hear this session. You had to pay to hear some of the financial sessions. And I'm talking about the people that are truly, they've done it or doing it financially. Because there's some people that know the knowledge, but they're not applying it. 
and they and it's hard and, and they can tell you but they really can't lead you there but there's some serious people out here in YouTube University there's some serious people out here like myself that have positioned themselves that are winning and what I know is that because it's free most people will not listen they will not listen but if you attach a dollar amount to it, what I know is most people will start to listen. They would truly start to listen to the message of financial freedom. But if you're here and you're listening to it, you have it. You have someone, you have people that are just speaking their truth and that want you to win. Because these corporations don't. I just explained why they do not want you to win. Why? Because if you don't win, you will be enslaved to them as far as paying interest. You will be enslaved to their job. We need to talk about that because a lot of people are enslaved to their job. They have to work a job they don't like, people they don't like, a boss they don't like, and guess what? And I understand now, now there are situations where you may not like it, but guess what? Because if you're in a situation and you're like me, you're debt free, guess what? You don't owe anyone, you have money saved, you are saving money, you are, you are winning financially and you still decide to be in that situation, then you still are winning. Why? Because at any moment you could just get up and say, I'm through. You have the power, they do not have the power. See, the job has a power or that business has a power over you when you are entrapped to what we've been talking about today, to debt. You are entrapped and enslaved to interest. So I know right now, I just want to give you as I close this out, some actionable steps that you can take. Number one, I talked about this on a prior video or probably videos, but number one, get your emergency game up. Get your emergency fund up. Get your adequate emergency fund. Figure out what you need in the economy that we're in and save money. It will save you. Get together emergency fund. After you have that emergency fund or while you're building that emergency fund, you should be knocking debt out left and right any way you can. I know it's going to be tempting to say, no, I'm going to purchase this thing because, you know, social media is telling me I should be having the latest, this latest car, this latest whatever. Guess what? You have time to get that. When you're debt free, guess what? You could just pay for it. You're going to don't have that FOMO, that fear of missing out. You know, I hear some people say, no, if I don't get this right now, what's going to happen? You're going to have to pay more later. So what? When you're debt free and you have money, you just, you, you'll pay it. Don't let them trick you. Don't let, don't allow these tricks of corporations, these tricks of, when I say corporations that are behind the social media, don't let them trick you into that. So don't worry, knock out that debt. Have a laser focus. So have the emergency fund, get out of debt. And as you're doing that, once you are free, you have the emergency fund, you are out of debt, then you should be running to the, to, to the finish line towards saving money now you should have so much money now that you could allocate towards saving your life should just be dedicated to saving yes enjoying you're gonna have to enjoy everything i've talked about you should be enjoying life along the way one of the one of the questions i often get or maybe comments i get is that people always tell me they like you know, but I want to enjoy my money, Tiffany. And you're always talking about restricting my money, having a budget and things of that sort. And no, you are gratifying yourself when you're saving money. You really aren't restricting yourself. If you feel restricted, then you have a mindset, an inner work problem. You're going to have to do the inner work. Again, there's sessions out there I think I have on that or, or people that are way better at that as far as the inner work. Then you have an inner work issue. Because this is something that, that should make you happy. You should be enjoying the process. You enjoyed getting in debt, right? You enjoyed spending the money, buying the things. Well, you should enjoy getting out. Get happy about paying that, that lender. Get happy because every time you pay them, you're getting closer to what? Financial freedom. You're getting close to freeing yourself. And then it starts to look like 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 you're living a debt-free life as i often say when I'm, I'm posed with a question i often have to tell people debt-free life is a freeing life i won't I, i'm not going back god willing i am not going back 
And what happens is it frees you. If you're doing these things, you have emergency fund, you're staying faithful to your budget, you're paying off debt, you're saving money like no other. See, what that does is you don't have to borrow from them. If you want to borrow, you can borrow from yourself. See, this is how I understood it. I don't want to borrow your money corporation. I'll borrow my own money. And guess what? I'll tack interest on it and pay myself interest. Why? Because I'm going to build wealth for me, not for you. We It's time out for that. We have built wealth too long for too many of these corporations. So wherever you are right now, this video should not be, this session should not be above you. It should not be beneath you. Beneath you. It should be right where you are. And I wanted to challenge you right where you are. Make sure that you start to develop a financial plan and you start to work it. And I promise you, your life will change financially. Thank you for tuning in. Have a beautiful day. Hasta luego.